welcome back to Connected Minds with Sean. Tonight's video is all about healthy, guilt-free, fake-away ideas. I watched a programme yesterday all about the effect that takeaway food can have on our bodies. And whilst they're not something that we have very often in our household, it's not to say that we don't enjoy the occasional takeaway. Um, my kids particularly are massive fans of a certain burger, uh, fast food restaurant, but they don't really like the food. I think it's more about the stuff that they get with the meals rather than the actual food itself. I don't know about you, but every time I have um, certain takeaways, I'll end up still feeling hungry afterwards or quite soon again afterwards and just feel really lethargic. And that's because it has a really bad effect. You know, it's high in saturated fat, they're high in salt, full of stuff that isn't really good for us. And the people that were in this program basically lived on takeaway food for two weeks and afterwards, not only their physical health, so their blood pressure, their blood sugar and their body fat, was really really high but it also affected their mental health as well they weren't sleeping as well and they were quite grumpy and unhappy so it's just all proof really that takeaway food isn't is just so bad for us but the thing is we all deserve a treat now and again don't we so in our house we kind of have a few alternative <laughs> alternative takeaway ideas that you can make yourself so they're really simple and easy yes they require a bit more work than picking up a phone or going through a drive through but why don't we all give them a go because we all want to make sure these little people have the best possible start in life and we need to look after ourselves as well um, so we often can try making our own burgers so this one is a bit of a messy one you might not want little children doing it themselves because it involves handling and um, if you're not veg if you're not a vegetarian it handles uh, raw meat but you can get minced meat and mix it with some crushed up um, cream crackers with some raw egg and you can make those into patties um, or you can do vegetarian versions by food processing like chickpeas and um, different vegetables and pulses and corn you can make those into vegetarian burgers and, and then using wholemeal buns instead of white bread Maybe try and sneak some salad and healthy stuff in there. So put some spinach or some lettuce on the burger, a bit of cucumber and stuff like that. Um, so it's all really, you know, be much better stuff than having the restaurant variety. You can make your own fries as well, just with, you know, simply by cutting up a potato into a fry shape. Um, I actually think they're really tasty. And we do sweet potato fries as well, which are even better because they're complex <laughs> carbs. So they take longer for your body to break down and they're lower and um, doesn't like spike your blood sugar and stuff as well. We also do homemade pizzas. So we get a, um, you could get a naan bread or a wholemeal pita bread, even better. And the kids can get involved with this one. Smear on some tomato puree. <laughs> and then I just put the stuff in little bowls for them so they can sprinkle on grated cheese, mozzarella, uh, even cheddar, cheese, um, pineapple, tuna, sweet corn it's a really good opportunity to try and introduce some of those kinds of vegetables like sweet corn into their diet as well um and then something else um so if you like chicken burgers you could either get a chicken breast and kind of marinate that or coat that into some lemon uh, lemon zest and black pepper grill it and put it on a wholemeal bun or in a pit of bread and voila you have a chicken burger so you can also, if you like chicken nuggets, I've been told that corn nuggets uh, taste absolutely just as good as a very well-known brand of chicken nuggets from a fast food restaurant. But something else we do a lot here, um, if you get a regular chicken breast, cut it up into smaller pieces and then raw egg, um, sorry, flour, and then uh, raw egg and breadcrumbs, coat them, put them in the oven for half an hour, 45 minutes till they're cooked through homemade chicken nuggets so those are just some really simple ideas like i say they take a little bit longer but uh worth the effort right if it's gonna keep your healthy family your family healthier and you healthier um you can even try milkshakes so i've tried this one before if you get some frozen berries frozen strawberries um and some milk and you've got a blender sometimes some natural greek yogurt swish it all together and you get a nice strawberry milkshake i know it's not the same as some of the ones in the fast food shops but if you try really hard to well if you try and introduce it into your kids diet hey they might even like it so um you can also do that with frozen bananas or you can use regular fruit and ice and milk as well or yogurt so there's lots of different things that you can try and do 
Um, and like I said, I'm not trying to be a complete fun sponge and take all the fun out of life, but, and everything in moderation is a great thing, but really, I just think if we just try and substitute some of the unhealthy stuff for healthier food, we're teaching our kids that, you know, it's good to eat healthy and that your body is to be looked after. And also that food is fuel as well. So the types of food you put into your body really affect what comes back out in terms of energy output and the way you feel and your health in general. So thanks for tuning in to our channel. I hope you check up with some of the other videos that we've made all about family health um and have a look and see what you find and always appreciate any comments for your fake away ideas just pop them in the comments and let's share our ideas and share the love so see you all soon guys thanks for tuning in time to get you to bed see you soon bye